Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of valuing Sphere Entertainment stock by analyzing their financial statements and dissecting their financial ratios. So we're going to determine if it's a buy or a sell. Let's get started with the model. This is a small cap company, 1.6 billion market cap. They're trading at $45 a share and they have 36 million shares outstanding. Sphere Entertainment operates as a live entertainment and media company in the US. It has two segments, Sphere and MSG Networks. The MSG Network segment provides regional sports and entertainment networks, as well as a direct-to-consumer streaming product. They used to be known as Madison Square Garden Entertainment and changed its name to Sphere last year. Let's look at their financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows into the future and then you discount those numbers back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. Every year they have negative free cash flow. The negative is getting a little better in 2024. It's negative 284 million. It was negative 900 million in 2023. Net income is the profit or loss on the income statements, revenue minus expenses. That's negative in three out of the four years. It is positive in 2023, likely something in other income and expenses, a non-cash item. Revenue is a sales for the company. That looks pretty good. It goes from 648 million up to over 1 billion in 2024. It grew 79% from 2023 to 2024. That's the only bright spot in their financials. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated the terminal value of all cash flows past year four, that's 3.3 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We got a value of the company of $2.2 billion. We divide that by 36 million shares. And we get a calculated stock price of $63. They're trading at $45. So they're trading at a 28% discount. It's a buy according to the model. Do you think it's a buy or a sell? Let me know in the comments. Simply Wall Street is real bullish on this one. They're at $87 a share. They say the stock is 47% undervalued. Six analysts price this stock at $49. They say it's slightly undervalued. There are 42 companies in the same industry as Sphere. And if they have a number in red, they're worse than median. If they have a number in blue, they're better. They spent $265 million in CapEx. The on the investments in property, plant, and equipment. When a company buys real estate or a piece of machinery, that's usually capitalized on the balance sheet and depreciated over its useful life. A really good debt to equity ratio, 0.6 for every dollar of equity, only 60 cents of debt. They have the worst free cash flow, negative 284 million. They rank 19th in market cap. Price to book looks pretty good, 0.7, but we can't look at that PE or price to free cash flow. Price of sales is 1.6, a little better than the average. They generate 1 billion of revenue, which is equal to the median. And their five year annual revenue growth rate is a little less than 0%. Here's their latest income statement. They did complete their 2024 fiscal year. Their fiscal year ends June 30th. Revenue went up a lot from 2023 to 2024, 570 million to over 1 billion. But their operating loss doubled. It was 166 million, now it's 340 million. Expenses are getting really high. They spent 80 million of interest on their debt. So they had a net loss of 200 million. Last year, they had a net gain of 500 million. Shares outstanding are going up a little each year. 34.3 million, 34.7 million, 35.3 million. So to summarize, I have them trading at a 28% discount, ranking six out of 10. Would I buy them three out of 10? I'm just not too sure. They really have a hard time generating positive free cash flow. Ratios are real weak, two out of 10. We can't even look at that PE or price to free cash flow. Financials four out of 10 because their revenue is up 59% from 2021 and free cash show is negative each year, although they have the best negative in 2024. So that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Give it a like, subscribe, or comment below. If you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.